Here we have a typical projectile motion problem. You have a projectile that is shot at a certain angle with some initial velocity and then due to gravity follows a parabola and lands on a target sometime later. In this problem here we're given that the initial velocity here had uh, magnitude of 40 meters per second and we're given that the target lands four seconds later at exactly the same height from which it was shot from. What we're looking for is what is the angle and what is the distance in x that the projectile traveled. Now first of all, what we can do, we can split up the initial velocity in its x and y components. So we have vx initial is the initial times the x side is cosine of the angle. And we have the y initial, the initial times sine of the angle. Also, we have the x position as a function of time is the initial position, so in this case 0, plus vx initial times time, plus 1 half acceleration t squared. There is no acceleration in x direction, the acceleration is only in y direction, so that's it for this one here. And then we have sy as a function of time is 0, I'm starting at a height 0, plus vy initial times time, plus one half acceleration time script. Now in my problem here, I'm looking for the angle and I'm looking for the delta x. Now the delta x, if I know my x component here, I can easily find from this equation over here. The problem is for this equation to be solved, I need to know the alpha. That means for the moment I cannot solve from the x. So what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be solving from the y equation, hoping that gives me the alpha and then plug it into the x equation. Let's start with the y equation. The y equation, I know that when it lands again, I have 0 must be equal to the initial times time, so the initial times time, so the initial times sine alpha times time, plus 1 half acceleration times script. So in my case, the initial was 40 meters per second times sine of the unknown angle times 4 seconds. Then for the acceleration, I'm going to be rounding minus 10, so I'm going to use minus 5 meters per second squared times 4 squared is 16, 4 squared second squared. Now all I have to do is solve this for alpha. So I have 5 times 16 squared that I take on the left and I divide it by the 40 times 4 and then isolate for alpha. So if I look at the units, I have meters per second squared times second squared gives me meters. And down here I have meters per second times seconds also gives me meters. That cancels out, so I get zero unit. Sine of alpha is 0 0.5, therefore alpha is our all-time favorite angle of 30 degrees. So I figured out my first answer, which is 30 degrees. Now that I know my angle, I can solve for my x position. So I'm just going to make some space. Okay, now that we know that alpha is 30 degrees, uh, part b is quite simple. We simply plug it into the equation here. So we have s as a function of time at 4 seconds will be my v initial x, so 40 meters per second times cosine of 30 degrees times the time, which is the 4 seconds, meters, so if you round to 1 sig fig or 2 sig figs, 140 meters.